a balanced equation for the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Then identify the acid, identify the base, and give a color change for universal indicator during the reaction. Pause this video until you have answered this yourself. Remember that hydrochloric acid's formula is HCl and sodium hydroxide's formula NaO. H. Hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride solution and water. Here we start with an acid, it reacts with a base, it forms a salt and water. The acid's pH will be less than 7, the base's pH will be greater than 7, and this particular salt has a pH of 7. So we can see that the acid and the base have neutralized one another. We know that this must be the acid because it donates a proton to the base. The hydrogen ion from the HCl molecule is split away. It joins with the hydroxyl ion from the base to form water. We know that the sodium hydroxide is a base since it is a proton acceptor. The hydroxyl ion within the sodium hydroxide accepts the hydrogen ion to become water. Hydrochloric acid would turn universal indicator yellow or red. Sodium hydroxide on its own would turn universal indicator purple. Once they have reacted together, they form a salt which is neutral and it would turn universal indicator green. How can we understand neutral, acidic and basic solutions? Here we have some water that is neutral. Water consists of H2O molecules which react with one another. Water can act both as an acid or as a base. We call it an ampholite or ampholytic substance because it can act amphi both as both an acid and a base. As it reacts as an acid, it donates protons to the base, which as it acts as a base, accepts those protons. And as a result, we get the hydroxyl ion from the acid donating the water, acting as an acid donating, and the hydronium ion, where the water acted as a base and accepted protons. But now in the case of neutral water, there are just as many hydronium ions as there are hydroxyl ions. Therefore, as a whole, the pH of the substance is 7. It is neutral, equal numbers of hydronium and hydroxyl ions. However, when an acid, for example hydrochloric acid, is added to water, that changes the balance between hydronium and hydroxide ions. There are more hydronium ions than hydroxide because of the addition of hydrochloric acid. This is because as the hydrochloric acid is added, hydrogen ions from the hydrochloric acid react with water to form hydronium ions, increasing the number of hydronium ions that's present. This then decreases the number of hydroxyl ions because the hydronium ions are neutralized. Those excess hydronium ions are neutralized by hydroxyl ions that are anyway in the water. And as that happens, those hydroxyl ions, by accepting a hydrogen ion from the hydronium, are changed into neutral water H2O, reducing the amount of hydroxyl ions present. In contrast, adding a base like sodium hydroxide to water makes it basic. That means that there are more hydroxyl ions than there are hydronium ions. The reason for this is that when a base is added to the water, hydrogen ions from hydronium ions that are anyway inside the water react with that introduced base to try to neutralize it. In so doing, changing the hydronium into water, thus decreasing the amount of hydronium relative to hydroxide. So therefore there are more hydroxide ions than hydronium. The pH scale indicates the concentration 
of hydrogen ions or we could say of hydronium ions. When there are many hydronium ions, we say the pH is low. P means the negative log of. So as a result of that, a high hydrogen ion or hydronium ion concentration corresponds to a low pH and a low hydronium ion concentration corresponds to a high pH. Notice that sometimes we refer to it as a hydrogen ion concentration and sometimes as a hydronium ion concentration. This is simply a matter of different terminology. Remember that in one way of referring to acidity, one speaks about the hydrogen ion concentration, meaning that we have a lot of hydronium ions.